Hi folks and welcome to this week's Skippy Track Guide at Mid-Ohio and it's a shortcut layout. We uh, don't go down this straight that's here, if you can see that, we actually cut uh, just after turn one, which is really annoying because you can't actually use the full uh, track on turn one because you need to get ready for turn two. But anyway, you will see that later on. Let's get on with all the info for you. Uh, info for the track is 45% track usage and temperature is quite toasty 106 fahrenheit degrees will be above my head also above my head if i can quickly squeeze it in this little gap is how i actually get into these sessions um so i used to do it a while ago and then for some reason there was a season where it didn't work too well and then this season it seems to be back to normal so this is how i get into the track guide so it, it sets the time for me sets the rough track conditions the only thing i change is the moderate usage 45 percent because sometimes the track usage is lower, sometimes it's higher. So anyway, that's how I get into it above my head. The lap I'm going to show you today is lap 15. We did 37 laps in total, which is a fair amount. And it's a 117 at 683. Not bad in these temperatures, I uh, I do say so myself. Uh, otherwise, above my head is a little link for my Discord. Uh, come join there and I'll have the OLAP, BLAP telemetry and replay file for you um or so you can say hello and uh, and yeah say hello to other people doing similar things to you otherwise let's crack on with the guide right mid ohio we are blasting to turn one and we are hunting for that 100 meter board and we're kind of breaking and uh, gently lifting off the throttle to get the car turned in we're seeing what happens with the rear end basically and using the throttle to control it miss that yellow curb on the apex and don't run fully out wide we are breaking immediately at this point which is kind of awkward to spot and we're all the way down into first gear take it nice and easy there probably will be a few spins around here so be warned about that as well but get on full throttle as early as you can compromise the exit to compromise the entrance to get a good exit you can see how early on the trace there i was on the throttle we are blasting all the way down now at the short little back straight turn three now and we won't carry as much speed as what we usually would on the full layout obviously so we're breaking a little bit four just after the 200 meter board all the way over there on the left hand side down three gears to second and we kind of turn it into the apex nice and early it's cambered so you can take a little bit more uh, speed in but obviously be careful if you run out wide it is very awkward this tricky left hander over crest of the hill is a little pain in the rear second gear nice and easy stay as far left as you can you can see this dirt patch on the track try and follow that as your widest line Coming to this one now, a couple of car lengths before the repaved bit, I lift off slight graze of the brake and get a really, really good exit here. Trying to miss the curb as much as you can, it seems to unsettle the skippy, push you out wide. But full throttle now for an awful long way uh, to turn eight, is it? Something like that? Anyway, blasting through here, we can cut a little bit of grass off turn seven. Yes, I am right, turn eight. And just as this curbing starts on the left-hand side, that yellow curbing, just brake just as you can see it, down again into third and get the car turned in nice and early. Get up full throttle as early as you can and try and get most of your turning done prior to the apex and get a nice straight line over that brow. If you don't, you'll just understeer wide and be in the grass slash wall, so be warned. Really good overtaking opportunity if you do get a good run out of that corner to stick a nose up the inside. This is a very fast corner that on cold tires you will need to break at the 200 meter board, just a slight graze. This one, just a big lift, tires are warm. Cut some grass again, use all that curb don't run too far wide the track comes back at you as well so the track sort of turns left while you're turning right if that makes any sense anyway just before the brow of the hill you're braking ever so gently down into second gear and just cruising around all you want to do here is get a good exit about now get on full throttle as early as you can and do not cut the last corner if you nick a little bit of that grass it's an off track which is hugely unfair but otherwise that is us very busy last sector there that is us across the line and that is with a 117.683 so it's obviously a lot lot quicker than what we used to on the full layout mainly because there's about a mile of track missing there isn't a mile but there's a good long straight and a hairpin at the end all we're doing is bringing that hairpin straight down but i thought i'd show you it it's a nice hot track again so just be warned to have a have a little bit of caution with tires going to take a few laps to warm up as always in this wonderful skippy but mid ohio quite a nice circuit on the short layout, I don't see many overtakes. Probably the best chance is down in turn three. Whereas on the full layout, it's obviously down at the full hairpin and then down into turn three again. So, yeah, should be interesting. Be careful. Lots of spinners, particularly. Uh, otherwise, stay safe out there. Catch you on the next one. 